sports, volunteers, and Greg. All this and more on today's episode of the Cat's Eye News. Club of Novi is offering a free summer lunch with the outreach program in the Feed the Need 2024 event at Village Oaks Elementary School starting June 17th to August 9th. You can scan the QR code to volunteer right now. It will be happening weekdays from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. They will be having daily activities ranging from arts and crafts, sports, community skills, and more. The Novi Creative Arts Collaborative is a program composed of choir, dance, theater, band, orchestra, and journalism. At the end of the year, here are the heads of the departments on how the year went. Orchestra season was good this year. The biggest one was our gala concert. That was the first year we've done a gala concert. Um, we did that in place of going to festival this year, and so we had Professor Bruce Uchimura come from Western, and um, he played cello solo, and he taught a master class, and um, just got to work with the kids all day, so that was probably the highlight of the year, I'd say. It was a really great year for choir. Um, all of our choirs received uh, Division One ratings at District Choral Festival, and all of them actually received perfect scores on their sight reading. Our a cappella group, Major Six, placed third at the International Competition of High School a cappella, and Bella Houchins was recognized as the best soloist of the evening. Um, at our last concert, each of our choirs performed all a cappella music, which is a true testament to the abilities that we have in our groups this year. And um, all the groups worked together. They grew so much, and I'm just really proud of a really awesome choir year. Um, um, the dance season went very, very well. We took the team to our first nationals, and both teams won second place in the modern category. So we did very well at that. Um, we also attended some regional competitions where we placed third and fourth. We had our collaboration concert, which invites other studios and companies in the area to come and perform. And we had our biggest audience yet for that. Well, we definitely had some entertaining segments. I thought we announced the announcements well this year. My challenge to next year's staff is to dive more into the journalism part of our school. So newspaper and yearbook, um, I think we had a, a pretty good year. We had some uh, writers who came on and were very enthusiastic, started right away, hit the ground running. Uh, we were able to uh, cover some good stories. We won some awards through MIPA, uh, which is the State Journalism Association. And um, with yearbook, same thing. We got some great stories. Um, I hope people will be pleased with the yearbook when they get it. We had a great year this year. The, from the beginning of marching band season all the way through, um, you know, through our spring concert that we just have, um, it's been fantastic. We actually have one more event, well, a couple more events. We have the parade on uh, Memorial Day parade on Monday in Novi, and then we have a jazz concert on June 4th in uh, Fierce Park. So, um, but it's been great. You know, the kids have been really great, and we've been able to challenge them with a lot of things. What are you looking forward to next year? New group of kids, a, a bigger group of eighth graders, and so every year is just a little bit different, and seeing how the orchestra evolves and, and molds together and all of that. Next year, um, we were invited to perform with Eric Whitaker, who's a really probably the most famous contemporary composer at Carnegie Hall, um, which is a really big honor for us. So next year, we'll be going to New York and we'll be working with Eric Whitaker at Carnegie Hall, which is really awesome. Um, I have a lot of young people coming up, and I'm really excited um, to get them in, uh, you know, going with these top groups and, and just making really awesome music next year. I'm looking forward to meeting all the new team members and getting to to do more team bonding and overnight trips. I am looking forward to telling more amazing stories, uh, getting more people involved in the publications, and um, definitely showcasing that through the Wildcat Roar, which is the student newspaper, and Reflections, which is the yearbook. You know, we still have students that started playing instruments online um, over Zoom which was awful and not fun for anybody. And um, so we're, we're really in the process of kind of building up some of those fundamentals that were missed during that time. Um, 
and our marching band show uh, in consort, which we, we just announced, um, and kind of loosely based on the musical six, is going to be phenomenal. We're really excited about that coming up. Thank you to all the Novi Creative Arts Collaborative heads. We owe a lot to you. Thank you for teaching us so much and helping your students grow a lot this year. We'll be excited for next year. Hey Wildcats, the Black Student Alliance Interest Group has extended its application deadline to May 27th. If you are interested in being part of the leadership team, scan the QR code and fill out the application. If you have any questions or concerns, please email Ms. Spring. Have a good day, Wildcats. It's Friday, Wildcats, and we are back with another Wildcat Sports Wrap. Starting off, boys baseball unfortunately lost to Churchill and to Belleville in the conference game. They have a game tonight against Dexter, though, and a doubleheader tomorrow against Allen Park. Girls Lacrosse won the MHSAA Regional with an astounding 18-0 victory. The boys unfortunately lost to Northville. Girls Soccer lost to Oxford, but won against South Lyon. Our boys and girls varsity track and field teams both have their Oakland County Championship meets this afternoon at Oxford. Girls Tennis also took two first place wins in the KLAA and regional matches this past week. Stay tuned for our next and final Wildcat Sports Wrap next week. See you Wildcats. Thank you for watching today's episode of the Cat's Eye News. There's only three episodes left.